Hey guys, how you doing? So this is my Mandalorian helmet that I recently 3D printed on my Ender 3. It's completely 3D printed and made out of generic PLA. Now you'll be thinking that it's made out of PLA so it's not exactly strong and sturdy. Now you're not completely wrong. If I drop this helmet, it will break probably. But the individual parts are strong as they have a thickness of at least 5mm with infill inside it so it's strong. This helmet however will break from the joints that hold two parts together. Also I made this helmet in parts which means that I divided the 3D model into several pieces and then glued them together to make this complete helmet. So making this helmet in a single piece was not an issue at all. We can just print it with support material and it will roughly take 3 to 4 days of continuous print and one and a half spool of filament. So far no problem right? Uh, the problem here was the size of my print bed which was really small. I'm an Ender 3 user so I couldn't just print such a prop on a single piece. Then also there was the time issue. Running a print for 4 days straight required guts which I don't have. To make this helmet, I split the model into 8 different pieces by using the mesh mixer. Now the mesh mixer is an autodesk tool that you guys can use to cut or edit any mesh file in an easy way. No, I'm not paid for saying that. It's a great tool that really deserve appreciation. I previously have made a similar helmet by doing the same exact trick of by dividing it into pieces and then 3D printing them separately. I didn't scale the model. I just split the model in its original shape. After making sure that I have split the model properly, I exported the STL file and named them so I can make a table and record the progress of a week long 3D printing spree. This process keep a tab on how long each part took. And it was crucial as I need a total build time for comparing the single piece print time that had supports. Also here's an alternative if you don't own a 3D printer. You could use outside services like PCBWay's 3D printing service. You can upload your STL files there and get them print. Anyways, I use 0.8mm nozzle with the following print parameters. I printed all the parts and this was the result. Now I just have to glue them together and complete the overall assembly. The main tool that I use was glue and fiber tape. First I glue two pieces together.
I attached all the parts which was grouped together and then I left them for half a day so the adhesive dries and we get a whole new part which was made by combining two separate parts. 2000 years later. Now here's the overall result. As for the 3D model of this helmet, I use 3D model from Thingiverse made by the user Wolf Hangen Design. Shout out to him. Now this helmet had lot of flaws that include these cavities between two parts that was made due to printing error. I plan to fill this cavity with filler epoxy which is a two part adhesive made from a hardener and one epoxy. I will do that in the next video. The part 2 will contain the filling, sanding and painting process. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. If yes then do not forget to hit the subscribe button. The part 2 will be aired soon so stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys next time. Till then, this is the way.